Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of Civilization 4 as the Netherlands. I'm trying to do okay. I think we're doing okay on score at least. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't say we're winning that one. Anyways, we finished that. Uh, you know what? Build that caravel. So I just like, get that caravel and maybe finish the quest. You're gonna go for the courthouse. And you're gonna fortify. Another great prophet. Oh dear, yeah, I feel for Germany. They seem to have been really squeezed out here. They had an awful start and then Isabella kind of hemmed them in. Uh, I need to m meet... Americans. There we go. Hello. Peace in our time. Uh, open borders. You are also pretty far behind. Your world map wouldn't give me anything interesting, though. Because I believe Mansa Moon's already traded the map with you. That's fine. Uh, will these other guys trade with us? You would not trade that with us, nor guilds. Plus one on cautious. Okay, that's fine then. Good gamish. You trade world maps. There's a chance you have something. Why would he give it away for so so cheap? I presume it's because he didn't actually know anything that I didn't know. Interesting, so... Yeah, it basically tells me that they don't know a damn thing. Let's buy it anyways. I'm fairly certain no one else are gonna accept it. Look what the cat dragged in, and you're... They're so unhappy. So Mansa Munsa is the one to beat, apparently. Mm-hmm. At least right now. Very well. Uh, so he's the one that built the wonders, right? D -d 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 Demographics. He has score. It's poor Frederick. Look at poor Frederick. Yeah, he has struggled all game. And he's now catching up on Gilgamesh. He's so he's doing good. He's trying to, trying to catch up again. Uh, Production-wise, we are still way in the lead because of our golden age. Uh, gold production. Uh, I'm surprised not to see... I can't see Mansa Munsa's graph yet, that's why. That's gonna be scary once we see that one. And of course this is the problem for us. <laughs> Our power is... Uh, not good. Timbuktu, yes, there we go. Is there anyone we haven't met? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight AIs. And me. That should be it, right? But it said two unknown saves. On the previous screen. Uh, did we get that before or after we met Mansa Munsa? Did it count did it count the barbarian sieve? The one that owned the city up here? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, if there are more out there, we're gonna meet them eventually, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I just bought your world map for five gold, and now you want to trade it? F no, it ain't happening. That would be kind of lopsided in his favor. That's not the sort of deal I go in for. Um. You have one food tile there. No, two food tiles in this one. 
You have pretty crappy terrain up here, though. I can build a lot of mines. But you're gonna need excess food if you're gonna actually take advantage of that. Uh, so I don't know if I want to build cottages for you, actually. Ah, uh, one at least. One cottage. And we're definitely getting to the point where I just might... ...put these guys on auto-explore. We didn't complete the quest. So I clearly need another unit. Uh, you... Well, heck am I going to do with you? Can't land you anywhere. S well, I suppose we'll have to send you this ways. On the vague chance there is something in that little uh, vacant plot of sea. Let's go and see. Let's go and check. Wait, how did I get... Did Sumeria have all this mapped out then? I guess they had. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna move to the northern shore then, because at least we can keep an eye out for things like this. I'm sending units out to sea. Yeah, right, but we still need a few more cities. Uh, there's that too. Uh, I need more hammers. I need more everything. I have gained this by philosophy, that I do without being commanded what others do only from fear of the law. Okay, um, let's see the big picture. Thank you very much. So we know they have uh, guilds and banking. Well, I'm researching towards banking at least. Most likely for mercantilism. Guilds, well, the grocery is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Drama is pretty darn cheap though. Uh, but I really don't want to lose. Ooh, printing press. More gold. Very tempting. Oh, that now we can. See, oh, damn it! I should have just seen there. It actually says on the damn text, "Advances to the X era." Okay, fine. We're gonna go drama first, anyways. We know they have guilds. Uh, I don't see anyone with nationalism, right? Oh, wonder time. Again without music. It is unfortunately the bane of all these old games, or rather, especially the intermediate games, I should call them. The ones that... Uh, in the early, uh, really old games, they didn't, didn't really have much music, and if they had music, it was generated locally. It was something they created in-house. In uh, but then you had... Uh, then you had the games that started licensing music, which Civ 4 did, and Civ 5 did. And just, when, you, when you license music, that makes perfect sense in that era of time, because you're going to get the best possible music that fits everything, right? But, move on a few years and people start streaming games and uploading to YouTube and stuff like that, and suddenly this is a, pro a problem, because then the music's going to be copyright flagged. And that is why now they, they have turned it back again and starting to turn all the music towards more um, stream-friendly things. So they have to develop the music themselves, or at the very least uh, have a license that allows them to have all their users use it freely. But yeah, all these games in the intermediate peri period that you just used licensed music heavily uh, are gonna suffer. Let's say 4, say 5, Tropical 4, Tropical 5 at the very least. Surprise Tropical 5 did that though, because that's pretty recent. Tropical 5 is newer than Civ 5, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because so let's see, Civ 5, that was in 2010, 
I think. Still a bit before the streaming really started. But it was in the age of YouTube, so I'm kind of irritated that the, they didn't take advantage of that. Anyways, Ankur Mat, I guess. I want my wonders. Six turns. You can hammer that out before the gold nature really tapers off. Uh, not really the city I wanted to do this, but I need to sell settlers. And I need them now, so start. Not you. You need the forge. As do you. But yeah, I want to claim the last few cities. Uh, again, that being sound scared the hell out of me, but it was we that built something. A slave revolt. Good for them, I suppose. Uh, we still need a replaceable part for these, though. You got a great spy. Oh, that sounds scary. That sounds scary. You're actually using the square. Let's mine it. Need more settlers. Need more builders. Or workers. Or whatever they're called in this. <laughs> and whatever they are called. Let's see. There we go. Go. And yeah. Nothing. You're already carrying a unit. Highly unlikely that there's something out here. But you never know. I uh, can't build that until we have the tech for it. Uh, that ain't gonna happen for a long time. Um, oh, I so want to build a cottage there, but you need food. Given that terrain, you really need food. You can go north, I think. Yeah. Actually, no, go this way. Okay, so we started building three settlers, I think. One, two, two settlers. Never mind. Delta new, yeah, two settlers. I need five. Right, that's what they agreed on. One, two, and three, four. And five. I don't know if another city squeezed in here would be worth it. I mean... What what squares would this take for its own? It would be the hill here, the desert, this grassland tile, and this tile here. Those four tiles. Plus a few ocean tiles. That's what a city here would actually get. But it is another city, and these cities here are gonna have trouble growing to that massive size. And just so, alright, oh uh, I didn't build the fishing boats, damn it. <laughs> uh, fishing boats here and fishing boat up here, right? Yeah, we need to get those on the water. And there, yeah, we need more work boats. Oh boy. Uh, I do think you got a work boat, right? No! Oh dear. Yeah, we need four work boats, and we're gonna need more. <laughs> uh, there is this though. I mean, why would it? It would have no production, ever. Well, actually, no, that's not true. It would have production eventually. Same thing here. Once we get the levees, or dikes, or whatever they're going to be called. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll build up once we plan at least and we'll take it from there. Uh, get the forge. Hey, there we go. The master blacksmith in Maastricht has offered to take on to train multiple apprentices if the government will build new forges for them to operate uh, once the training is, has been completed. We need to build enough forges in our cities to accommodate the, ma uh, in the master's new students. Uh, to complete this quest, we need nine forges. That's not a problem at all. We already have this. <laughs> if you lose uh, control of Maastricht or the Master Smith, uh, 
Or if you reach the Renaissance era. The Renaissance era is just around this. Oh, I need to be careful here. Um. The problem is that all the texts are pretty much Renaissance now. At least these ones are. Drama is not, so. Keep going, drama. We should finish it next turn, wouldn't we? We already have nine forges. Fairly certain we already have nine forges because we have built one forge in every single city that had uh, that had to build the harbors. Are you gonna need more food? Yes, you're gonna need more food. More food. Finished a cottage. More cottages. And just have a look see in the southern seas here. Yeah, I really feel poor Frederick. He was hemmed in. He really was. Yeah, there's not going to be anything out here. Uh, I'm going to need the road though, so we can connect this way easily. Easily. Move our units that way. How many turns until that blasted caravel? Three turns. Then I'll hopefully complete that quest. I think we built all the harbors. <laughs> I hope that number hasn't gone up. Um... I can actually ch check that, can't I? Let's see. I don't want to go to the unit, I want to go to the city. And I want to click this. Forge Harbor, that's one. Two forges. Three forges and a harbor. Four, three. Five, four. Six, five. Seven, six. Eight, seven, nine. Yeah, we already have those. Two more harbors. Yeah, we have nine harbors. We have enough forges. So I just need to build, finish that caravel. And not lose with the ones I have. And we have to wait one turn to get the uh, blacksmith thing. All the world's a stage. And all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Okay, okay. <sighs> What's astronomy? And why? Oh, good lord. Uh, that's a fair bit ahead. A oh, unique unit. Can explore rival territory, but so can our caravel, so that doesn't really matter. It's strong, but we're not really gonna fight a naval warfare thing right now. Naval straight on the ocean, that's the key thing here, but I suspect... We're gonna do that, it's gonna disallow the Colossus. I kinda like the Colossus right now. <laughs> and the Colossus was the, one, that was the one that gives us extra gold, right? From the ocean tiles. Uh, bronze working. Wasn't it here? No. Metal casting, there we go. All cities water tiles plus one, yeah. So that kind of hurts. And I suspect that most of the AIs are going to switch over to mercantilism. So they're not going to have trade anyways. So... On the one side we can take advantage of it right now if we hurry up. But they're researching banking and they're most likely going to switch to mercantilism and close everything down. And we might want to switch to mercantilism too. If we had that. Let's see, Oxford is a national wonder. Taj Mahal is not. I 
Pay turns to advance to the zones. I'm gonna click guilds for now. Because I want to see if that quest completes or not. Mm. That's what you're recommending. Do you have a barracks here? You do. You do indeed. I'm gonna go with castles. I want to build up my defenses. No, wait a second. You were supposed to build uh, settlers. Anyways, you finished the quest. Congratulations, you met the goals of your master blacksmith and built enough forges for each of his students to have his own to operate. Please choose a reward from the Among the Benefits. Uh, a source of copper. Free promotion for all our swordsmen. We have none of them. Or a free engineer. And let's see, copper would be plus what? Uh, oh dang it, now I, now I want to me scroll even to find out what the hell the bonus for a plus one copper tile is. Um, for having copper. It's plus a few production tiles, that's it. A few hammers. So if I wanted, for the ham if I wanted, wanted that for the hammers, it's probably better to go with the free engineer. That's also going to be plus three production, I think? Or is it plus six for an engineer? I think it's plus three production and plus six science right now because of our representation thing. So that's going to be better a better choice than going for a copper resource, I suspect. And I am not sure if this applies retroactively. Besides, we're not going to be building swordsmen anymore anyways. Yeah, I think the free engineer is the way to go. And now I'm going to go check what the hell the copper does so I can regret my choice. <laughs> okay, it would have been plus six production in total. Well, it's plus five production. So oh, plus four production because we're in the golden age. Plus four production. Uh, yeah, that's just a notification of us completing the quest. But that's fine. So you're gonna get a free guy, right? There we go. Plus two hammers. Oh, never mind. But plus two hammers, plus three science, plus two culture, and more great engineer birth. Rates. Oh, it's an engineer, not a great engineer. Uh, yeah, that's the difference. It's just a regular engineer. But still pretty good, though. I'll take that. I mean, it's free. And why are you... There we go. Cycle my units, please. Thank you. Why did you select that maceman? Grr. Uh, go back and heal up. I'm going to send you out to explore again. I don't know what I'm going to do with these um, explorers. They don't really serve any purpose anymore. I mean, I can't access Saladin's lands. <laughs> it's easy to tra trade the maps at this point. Um, right, you finished finish the cottage there. That's fine. I guess you're going to farm this tile. I'm gonna, it's going to irk me if I don't have visuals on this one square. Let's go back. Oh, okay, so you, you did manage to squeeze in uh, some cities over this ways. Okay, I thought it was like forced to go all the way up here into the icy wastes, but apparently it had a little bit of land over here. Um, yeah. As soon as I build that last caravan, I'm going to put these guys on auto-explore and so be it. I'll see what the hell they, they find for us. It's going to be next turn. Or the turn after that one. <laughs> but at least we finished the blacksmith quest just in time. Uh, do I want to finish guilds now? I'm not going to get guilds and mercantilism in time for the uh, golden age. 
I'm gonna go with nationalism into guilds into banking. Or am I? Printing press has a fair bit of allure. Right, let's try that for now. It depends. I mean, we might be able to trade some techs. We can actually check that right away, can't we? Because of the at-a-glance thing. Uh, or not. Info. Text. There we go. You guys have guilds, but you won't trade it. You will trade guilds. For philosophy. Not gonna happen. You will trade guilds. Uh, that has more appeal, because you don't have divine rights. You don't have music. But you're gonna trade those with Isabella. She has paper, I assume. Yeah. Hmm. He's still known with optics. Yeah, we kind of helped him out a bit more than I expected. <laughs> with all those sex. I think he traded away a fair few things to Isabella or something. Uh, yeah, it's not worth five turns. Five turns saved. But anyways, we now have the text to upgrade all our archers. Oh boy. Um, total cost is going to be what? Okay, 1,300 something gold. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I guess we're going to hang out, hang on to that for a bit. Was there a uh, policy that changed? Upgrade costs. I don't think so. No. It's gonna be too soon. For now, this is still gonna be worth more than to switch to this one for more production. I'm gonna need to really crank up my gold production for this to be really valuable. Which means I need this one too. <laughs> and this. What would you want over an economy? I don't know. Ah oh well, no matter, we're gonna go with this, we're gonna hopefully get the um, Taj Mahal first. No one will have to tech for that at least. And we'll see if I can beat Mansa Munsa in building these wonders. And we'll take it from there. Did I switch you out to Settler, Settler, Settler? Settler, that's three. Four. Mm, at least one more, maybe three more. I mean, we can squeeze in a few of these island cities. They're gonna be pretty poor, but city is a city. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.